Hello everybody, welcome to the Scientist Room. Today we are taking a look at the ESE Ensemble Synthesizer, which is included in Logic Pro. So it's one of the synthesizer instruments in Logic. Um, very easy to find. If we just uh, close this down a sec, if you want to add a track here, plus, and then it's there, it's already there, but you find it inside of Instruments, synthesizer and there it is the ese ensemble synth right okay super simples let's just quickly open this up and open it full screen and i'll give you a tour it's a very very simple synthesizer designed for making uh ensemble type sounds so basically i've set this to its kind of basic patch kind of thing. nothing going on you have here an oscillator. If I take this all the way down, it's a saw. If I move it up there, just one notch there to where it says pulse width PW50. This is basically a square wave. And then we adjust the pulse width. To how we like it. Let's leave it on saw for now. Then you have vibrato and then LFO speed then we have cutoff filter sorry simple filter it sounds like a low pass <laughs> it is resonance Filter envelope depth, so if we... Octaves. Moving down, we have our amp envelope, so our basic volume control. Our volume velocity, so no velocity control, no matter how light you touch the key, which is probably best for, for patch, string type patch sounds, so. Because most of the time you don't really want a pad sound to have a velocity control it wouldn't make it doesn't you know it's not it's for it's for it's for beds for pads you know okay then we have a super basic envelope control now if i hold a note on this it will sustain forever there is no adsr there's no sustain stage uh, in the envelope there is only attack and release so for example take the release off when I release my key, there'll be no release. And we can make a... Next is the bits that's going to make a big difference to your sound. The uh, effect, which is basically an ensemble effect. So your chorus one... Chorus two, and then you have ensemble. And then you have pitch bend range. Going up an octave there, so if we take this down to two semitones, which is about right. Well, a bit normal if you kind of think. But again, it's it's an ensemble, so you really need pitch bend. This is the modulation wheel I've just pushed up, right? So. It's only related to the LFO speed.
So it's really easy to use. It's great for making quick kind of, it's kind of like a classic, on, in saw wave, it's definitely kind of like classic synth, string machine type vibe, you know, but you can get a wide variety of sounds by moving around with this. So very first off, just to put it onto the 50% pulse, which is basically a square, but we've got our chorus effect here on two. So with that off, basically a square wave and then that sounds really nice actually let's try this with the chorus two how long can we go for an attack well i think looks like what 10 seconds and about a 10 second release time as well so plenty there for sort of your long evolving pad sounds that want to come in so on this effect, if we start to move this round now. This is going to sound going to get some really interesting sounds. As we move through the the, the the pulse width of that actual um, square wave. And of course, changing the modulation makes a big difference. mod wheel or This is like it's sounding now like uh, an absolute vintage string machine. Now, it does come with a few presets for you to start with. So this was analog pad. Why isn't it changing, Doug? I don't know. Let's keep, let's go back out. Let's go back into our plugin presets. Okay. So I'll quickly take you through these. It resizes to fit as well. You'll just have to scroll up and down. negative with the filter envelope depth and get that really nice effect
It's quite nice, actually. It's... That's a cool effect. That's a cool patch. It is if you want to copy it. <laughs> I think I'll save that actually. Let me just go save as and I'll call I'll just call this uh reverse reversed uh filter and I'll remember what that is. Okay, boink. And if you want to copy that patch, which is quite the find. You can pause it and just copy it. Anyway, so there you go. Now, of course, of course, we're not. We can now start. We can add some effects in there. So let's just. Well, we're not going to go crazy here. So let's maybe just fix this patch. Get something. to have lost the sound right let's get with uh let's see if i can just get another preset in um, let's try with this okay that'll do it um I'll make a few adjustments to this sound actually. This one. No, it's too bright. Put it onto chorus two. All right. So once you've done this, you can then we'll add just we'll just add a, a silver bear. Okay, so there you go, guys. There is a walkthrough for walkthrough for the ESE Ensemble Synth, which is part of Logic. I'm actually really pleased with me patch, <laughs> me patch as well. I honestly didn't expect to get anything like that. Let's go back to our user patches. <laughs> anyway bless you all thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel please consider becoming a patron and i will see you guys later Ta -da.